This is a quick video just showing you how to access the Savas Realize platform from NC Ed Cloud. So I'm starting in my NC Ed Cloud, um, and the link to get to this is the same as Canvas and PowerSchool and everything else that you're accessing right now. So you go to my.ncedcloud.org, and that will help you log in. So once you're logged in, you're going to look for this button right here that says Easy Bridge. And this is the same button for teachers and students. And this is the button you're going to click on to take you to your Easy Bridge account, which is where you access your online textbook. So we'll go ahead and click that. When you do that, you're going to be taken to the Easy Bridge platform here. This is where you actually go to access Realize. So for teachers, you're going to have all of this stuff over here about your classes. But what students and teachers need to actually get to Realize is this button right here. So we are going to click on this button. And that's going to open another tab. And once you get to this main screen, this is the teacher view of the screen. So student view is going to be slightly different, um, but overall the layout will be the same. So here, teachers have the word browse, and that's going to take you to your textbook. And the students should also have something similar where they'll see their class's textbook listed here. And I think it still says browse. Here, where teachers have classes, students, have instead the word assignments. And that is where students will go to see the assignments you have given them here in Savas Realize. And they'll be listed right down here. And once you've issued some assignments, they'll be able to click on them to see. Over here in the blue, this is where teachers have a button that says data. So this is where teachers will see test scores but students will say grades instead. And this is where students can see their scores on their assignments. So for teachers, we can see information about all of our students' scores and grades. Students can see only their own grades. And this will say grades instead of data. So again, browse lets you see the textbook. Students will have a button that says assignments instead, and that's where they will see their assignments listed. And students will have a grades button where we have data, and that's where they will see their grades. They can click through different parts of the website. There is nothing that they can break. Um, the first time they log in, before they get to the screen, they will have to set their preferred language and pick a background image. All of that can be changed later, so they shouldn't stress out about it. And you can change that from the settings in your account. Um, I hope this was helpful and feel free to reach out if you have any other questions.